So here we see now we try to access the PO uh, a table uh, which is in the PO schema here. Let's assume that this is the PO schema and then we try to access the PO table which is the underscore all table and we were able to see all the data, right? Just like, you know, so here the, uh, the, uh, the PO headers all underscore all table has all the data and then the data is up, uh, there is a column called org ID associated with it. Now, when, I, when we go into the apps, we have the corresponding view, which is called PO headers view. And when, I, when we try to access the data within that view, there is no, um, uh, we are not able to see any data uh, retrieved because the org ID or the, the security profile is not being set. And uh, as we discussed yesterday, um, in here, whenever you try to access the uh, the screen through a responsibility, the operating unit which is associated to the responsibility sets the security profile, and the view now exposes the the data associated to that operating unit. So there is a way for us to set the uh, the operating unit value. Uh, here um, as well. So if we execute this particular uh, uh, statement and associate that to the sp corresponding org ID, uh, then we would be able to select from the PO headers view and still be able to get the uh, value. So let's just check what the org ID is by going to PO header solve for this segment. And so the org ID here is uh, 204. So let me just change it to 204 and execute this. Let's see why it has this. Let's find it further. This is statement. Let's check what the issue is here. Okay, so let's now go ahead and uh, execute again. I think before I had a double quotes here and there's some issue there. So let's go and execute it. So now we have executed the uh, the, ex the the procedure that would set the org ID context in the SQL plus. So now let's go and select from this particular uh, table. So now by doing so, the, what we have done is we have set the org ID to 204. So by going and accessing the PO headers, we are able to retrieve that uh, uh, purchase order that we, uh, that we created from the PO headers view. Now just to drive the point, Let's uh, select count star and then org ID from PO headers all and see how many uh, rows we get for each of those org IDs. Right. So this, uh, of course, so here we say group by org ID and then let's try to execute it. <clears throat> so now this returns the the count of uh, the total number of purchase orders at the header and along with the org ID. So here we see there are a whole bunch of uh, records that are created. Uh, so to be precise. Okay. So we have a, a total of 34 records and uh, each of them uh, for each org ID, it has uh, the list of uh, uh, purchase orders created. So for 204, we have 3,520 created. Now, instead of the PO header salt table, uh, what we'll do is, now we have seen uh, in the previous step, we have uh, uh, set the value to 204. So let's just go and uh, check where instead of the underscore all, if we go and execute it for PO headers all, what we get. So see here, by accessing the view, we are only seeing the 
the org ID 204 and uh, uh, which has 3520 records created. So in this case, without doing anything, uh, by just setting the context to the appropriate org ID, we are able to logically separate the data among different operating units. And by selecting just from the view definition, we are now able to only access the records associated with that org ID 204.